Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs, and I am very excited to show you guys a little project I've been working on. I've always been fond of YouTube beginner guides for Fire Emblem games, and I've always wanted to do one for my favorite game in the series. Trying out Fire Emblem 6 on hard mode for the very first time can be a pretty daunting task for most people, and I often see you guys asking for advice in my comment section on how to tackle it. Now this is not meant to be a turn by turn guide, but rather just small hints and tips on how to carry through the maps, and some advice on what units you should train alongside things like when reinforcements show up and what side objectives you should try to accomplish on each map. The idea is that you can watch these guides before playing a mission to be a little more confident and knowing what to expect. However, I'm going to keep these short and sweet and to the point, so without further ado, let's jump into chapter 1. Unlike most other games in the series, Binding Blade throws you straight into the frying pan, with the first chapter on hard mode being one of the toughest. The enemies here are all very bulky, and they hit like trucks. And to add insult to injury, your starting squad is made out of some pretty mediocre units. Let's begin by taking a look at them. Roy is your main character, and for the most part he's going to be a huge liability on hard mode. His stats are shaky and he will very seldom be useful. He's got decent growth rates and a personal weapon that's effective against cavalry and armor, but aside from that he's not going to be very useful. Still, you should give him some kills here and there whenever you can, as you are forced to use him for every single map. Marcus is going to be your absolute savior for the first 7 or 8 chapters, and even after that he will continue being useful as a supporting unit for quite a while. He has great base stats, amazing movement, and commands the entire weapon triangle. Armed with an iron sword, he can leave most early game axe users on low health so that your other weak units may pick them off, and if you need him to kill something, he can often get the job done with a silver lance. Do not be afraid to let Marcus get a few kills here and there. Even though he won't get much out of his level ups, it's never a bad thing to have Marcus gain just a few stats, as he will continue to see action for quite a while. Volt is your early game archer, and his bases are pretty awful, but he can still deal reliable chip damage from a distance, and that is actually pretty useful on hard mode. You will often find that you need just a little bit of extra damage to land kills, and this is where Volt comes in handy. Beyond that though, don't expect too much out of this guy. If you do decide to train him up, he can certainly contribute in the late game due to his pretty okay growths, but there are some really decent pre-promoted snipers joining later on that does this job just as well. Alan is the first of your two cavaliers, and as far as your early game squad goes, he is one of your bests. Well balanced bases, access to both swords and lances before promotion, great movement and all around fantastic growths makes him a solid unit to invest experience into. Give him kills whenever you can. The other cavalier, Lance, is pretty much the same deal. If you want to know the difference between them, Lance is a little faster, whereas Alan is a little stronger. But depending on RNG, either one of them could turn out better than the other. I personally find Lance to be the slightly better of the two, as his higher base speed allows him to double more quickly on hard mode. But honestly, you should just use both of them. They can also support together to become even more effective, but this is optional and not required. Lastly, we have Boris. Sadly, there's not much use for this guy on hard mode. Being locked to lances is a huge detriment, as he will get absolutely slaughtered by the bulky axe users of the early game. His base speed is so bad that he risks even getting doubled in the first chapter. Use him as a roadblock whenever you have to in order to defend your other squishy units, but aside from that, do not expect much out of this guy. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's begin with the first chapter. Chapter 1 of Binding Blade Hard Mode is pretty much an exercise in pulling as many enemies as possible with Marcus and then having your other weaker units finishing them off. With his Iron Sword, Marcus usually doubles and leaves the Axe users on single digit HP, which is low enough for Roy, Alan, Lance and even Volt to secure the kill. The archers are a problem as they are difficult to counter, but you can either take them out by using Marcus's Silver Lance or you can simply surround them with your other units. The village to the right of your starting position gives you 5000 gold. I usually get this with Boris as I don't like having him engage in combat. After you've dealt with the initial enemies, continue the practice of having Marcus meet the attacking units and leaving them low enough for your other units to land the kills. As soon as you've dealt with the charging enemies, the rest of the map becomes a single practice of pulling enemies in small numbers and dealing with them appropriately. As long as you always have Marcus be the first unit entering combat, you should never have any problems finishing off the enemies. Towards the end of the map there's a fighter and an archer that starts moving as soon as you engage the fighters in front of the boss. This can be a little difficult if you're not prepared for it, but as always, just use Marcus. Don't be greedy like I am here and make sure he has a vulnerary in his inventory to heal himself up if he gets low. 
Once you've dealt with the last enemies, it's time to take on the boss of the chapter, the fighter Damas. He's quite dangerous at this stage of the game, with insane HP, strength and defense, and most of your units won't be able to scratch him. He might even one-shot Roy depending on his hard mode bonuses. However, Damas has no ranged weapon, which means that you only have to worry about the unit standing in front of him. Simply place Marcus in front of Damas and enemy face him until he's low enough for one of your other units to take the kill. Alternatively, you can just give the kill to Marcus himself, he doesn't really mind the extra experience. With that out of the way, have Roy seized the throne and congratulations, you have just taken your first step into the uncharted territory of Binding Blades hard mode. The first chapter was pretty tough for an opener, but it's going to get a lot tougher. Up next we'll be tackling chapter 2. If you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful, please consider leaving a like and a comment. And let me know if this inspired you to try Fire Emblem 6 on hard mode for the very first time. Before we wrap up this episode, there is one thing I would like to do. I know some of you guys will inevitably mention in the comment section that you'd like to try Fire Emblem 6, but you don't know how to translate it. This is a beginner's guide after all, so I'm quickly going to teach you how to apply a translation patch to Fire Emblem 6. For some of you who have never patched a ROM before, this might be one of the things that keep you from playing the game. If you already know how to do this, you can stop watching the video now. The first thing you need to do is to obtain a Fire Emblem 6 ROM. Due to copyright issues, I cannot show you where to get one, but if you just Google it and look around a little, it shouldn't take you long. It personally took me under two minutes. Once you have your ROM, download the free program NUPS. I'll throw a link to it in the video description. Next up is the translation patch itself. There are several to choose from, but I recommend this one found over at Serenus Forests. I will throw a link both to the thread, but also a link that leads directly to the translation patch itself. There are some other older translations available, but they are in my opinion not of the highest quality. So make sure you get this one, as it should provide you with the best experience. Once you get both your ROM and your translation patch, open up NUPS, select the option Apply NUPS Patch to a file, and you will get a screen with two windows, File to Patch and UPS Patch. Press File to Patch and locate your Fire Emblem ROM. Then press UPS Patch and locate your translation patch. Then hit Patch. You should now have access to a newly translated ROM. For your emulator, I recommend using Visual Boy Advanced for the PC. As always, link can be found in the video description. A lot of people also usually want to know if they can play this on their phone, and the answer is yes. For mobile devices, I recommend using the emulator MyBoy. It runs the same ROM files as your average PC emulator, so if you use your computer to patch the ROM in advance, you can just send the patched ROM over to your phone using Gmail, Dropbox, or any other service that allows the sharing of files. And that's how you go about getting this to work on your mobile device. As a bit of a side note, because I know I'll get this question, I would like to mention that you won't be able to play Fire Emblem 6 on hard mode unless you beat it once on normal mode first. You can circumvent this by downloading an emulator save state. I will include a link below to a functioning .sgm save file that has hard mode already unlocked so you can play it right away. But honestly, you should not play Fire Emblem 6 on hard mode on your first playthrough, even if you are an experienced veteran of the series. My recommendation is to play it on normal mode first and then come back for hard mode once you're ready. That being said, this guide, even though it is intended for hard mode, still works for normal mode. Just be aware that certain hard mode exclusive enemy reinforcements might not show up and that certain playable characters might be a little weaker due to lacking hard mode bonuses. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. From now on, every video will just be focused on the chapters themselves. I hope you found this useful, and if you haven't left that like and comment yet, now would be a great time. As always, my name is Min Mengs, thank you for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Bye bye!